Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing olefin metathesis in the context of catalyst uh, development perspective. And uh, in that regard what we had uh, uh, discussed is the fact that uh, the strategies which were put in place uh, in making uh, uh, the catalyst uh, uh, effective one. With that effectivity I mean that the catalyst should be highly active. Uh, in terms of being able to convert substrate to product and towards this goal uh, 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 several designing uh, changes have been adopted in the course of uh, making uh, catalyst for olefin metathesis. We had uh, seen uh, the strategies which have been uh, uh, employed by uh, uh, Grubbs, uh, Schrock, uh, Lappert and others uh, for designing uh, uh, Gladys for designing uh, catalyst uh, for olefin metathesis reaction. Now in this uh, discussion I would like to uh, draw um, the attention uh, towards uh, the discussion about uh, coordinative uh, and electronic uh, saturation and unsaturation aspects uh, that plays a crucial uh, role uh, in uh, the design of uh, uh, catalyst. coordinative and electronic saturation and saturation of catalyst. Now uh, by these uh, uh, one uh, refers to uh, the sterics as well as electronics. Sterics and electronics. Uh, so one plays with the sterics and electronics of the, uh, the catalyst complex uh, by changing the coordination and making the uh, metal center more crowded uh, when it is saturated as well as when if something is coordinatively unsaturated that means that there are vacant site uh, accessible uh, to the metal center. Sim same is the case of uh, electronic saturation uh, or unsaturation. Now this follows from the fact that uh, there are ligands which uh, either donate electron to the metal center or ligands which uh, pull away or suck electron density from the metal center making uh, uh, the metal more electron rich or uh, more electron deficient as, uh, uh, the, as is the case and thereby uh, modulating the reactivity of the catalyst uh, with refer to particular substrates. So here uh, 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 is this uh, discussion about the modulation of sterics as well as electronics uh, 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 in designing uh, the catalyst aspect. Now in this uh, discussion uh, in our previous class uh, we have spoken about uh, how these uh, steric and electronic factors uh, were put in place for designing Grubbs uh, uh, catalyst and uh, uh, what we had uh, observed is that for uh, the ruthenium uh, carbene Grubbs catalyst. Uh, the Grubbs catalyst, uh, the measures were taken uh, to uh, uh, make uh, uh, this metal center uh, more favorable uh, for the metathesis reaction. And in this case what we had observed that uh, the people have played with the sterics in terms of putting bulky triphenyl uh, phosphine substituent and, and then also played with electronics in terms of making more uh, sigma donating ligand uh, and so that the metal center is more electron rich uh, and hence uh, can uh, um, help uh, uh, perform metathesis reaction in a better way. So uh, we had also seen that uh, these uh, catalyst, uh, the Grubbs catalyst uh, you know uh, carries out metathesis uh, but uh, the initiation takes place 
uh, by two important step one is phosphine uh, dissociation and the second one uh, is olefin binding. Uh, so, uh, uh, what uh, 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 to be uh, discussed over here is the point that uh, the sterics uh, have been uh, employed, the steric factors have been used for uh, uh, taking care of phosphine dissociation, uh, whereas uh, uh, these uh, olefin binding uh, uh, is successfully uh, taken care of by modulating the electronics uh, of the uh, metal center. So, I am going to illustrate this uh, uh, in uh, another set of example particularly with gloves second generation uh, uh, catalyst in which uh, uh, the uh, uh, cyclohexyl phosphine is replaced with NHC or N heterocyclic carbenes uh, and these are uh, ligands of the type uh, shown over here and they are very good uh, sigma donors. So, when uh, uh, the, the cyclohexyl phosphine, one of the phosphine is rep, uh, replaced by uh, NHCyclic carbene or NHC, then uh, the Grubbs second generation catalyst which is supposedly more active than the first generation uh, catalyst in uh, metathesis reaction uh, can be synthesized and, uh, uh, and that uh, have been uh, successfully employed by uh, controlling enhancing the steric and electronics at this ruthenium metal center. Let me illustrate this uh, with this example. So, uh, uh, this is the Grubbs uh, second generation catalyst uh, uh, which has uh, uh, cyclo uh, uh, hexyl phosphine uh, uh, bound to ruthenium as well as a carbene with bulky uh, uh, mesidyl substituents bound to uh, 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 the metal center. Uh, so, these uh, 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 the sterics uh, allows uh, the first step which is phosphine dissociation dissociation to give this uh, uh, complex Uh, which is uh, to give this uh, complex uh, which is coordinatively uh, unsaturated uh, because the, uh, this is coordinatively unsaturated because there is a vacant site uh, which is uh, generated. So, this uh, is the active species which is coordinatively Now, to this uh, uh, the olefin comes and binds to give the uh, uh, to this this olefin comes and binds olefin comes and binds in the vacuum site and this is called olefin coordination step
or uh, olefin binding step. Now, this is facilitated because of the first step which is uh, dissociation of at, uh, uh, the phosphine and that is promoted by the steric factor. promotes uh, this phosphine dissociation uh, which uh, helps uh, in turn uh, allows uh, the olefin binding. Now, uh, once the olefin binds then that results in the complex Now, this is a uh, uh, olefin bound to ruthenium complex. Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, what we had observed that uh, both sterics and the uh, electronics are important uh, in modulating the metathesis reaction and this is the instance where uh, uh, the electronics comes into play Uh, comes into play as NHCs are good sigma donors so they make uh, the metal center more electron rich and as a result olefin binding binding is facilitated by metal to ligand pi back donation. So, this is a important uh, contribution what we see that electronics uh, kicks in uh, or helps uh, the second step where uh, the good uh, sigma donating ability of the anencyclic ligand makes the metal ruthenium metal very electron rich and as a result uh, uh, the metal to uh, 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 olefin pi back donation uh, is favored and which results in the bind, uh, uh, good binding of this olefin. Otherwise ol olefins are not uh, very good binding ligands to the metal. Now, once uh, that uh, successful binding of olefin happens uh, the next uh, uh, is the metathesis reaction uh, which uh, gives this four membered Uh, ruthenium metal cyclo uh, butane intermediate and that eventually gets converted uh, to uh, product. Uh, with the formation of a different uh, kind of uh, carbon species and a different uh, kind of olefin bound to the metal. So, what is to be seen over here is uh, that a different uh, uh, olefin bound species is formed uh, where uh, instead of uh, ruthenium benzyl species carbene species of here, here here is a, a new kind of ruthenium carbene species and instead of uh, the olefin over here 
a new kind of olefin metathesis product olefin is formed. So, uh, 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 here uh, what is observed that uh, proper choice of sterics and electronics uh, help facilitate uh, the first uh, uh, steps, first is the phosphine dissociation and the next is the olefin binding. Uh, resulting uh, in favoring the metathesis reaction. So, this is a, a very important demonstration of uh, the catalyst uh, development strategies uh, which often involve modulation of the sterics and electronics and uh, what has been observed that uh, this uh, strategy has been put in place uh, in a very efficient manner while designing grubs. Uh, 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 gen uh, second generation catalyst in which one of the phosphine has been replaced by a bulky n heterocyclic carbon ligand, uh, which uh, because of its uh, bulky uh, uh, mesetyl N substituents help facilitate phosphine dissociation, uh, giving rise to coordinatively unsaturated uh, species. Uh, now, that uh, also uh, uh, allows olefin binding, and then uh, uh, simultaneously with that, the presence of very good sigma donating ligand uh, further reinforces uh, the olefin binding to uh, uh, ruthenium because of uh, uh, metal to olefin pi back donation. And then uh, 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 the stabilization of the ruthenium olefinic complex uh, because of the st uh, sterics and uh, uh, electronics uh, leads to uh, the formation of the um, uh, yes, ruthenium metal acyclobutane intermediate resulting in formation of another ruthenium carbon species with uh, the metal thesis uh, uh, catalyst. So, uh, overall Grubbs second generation is better than the phosphine complex and uh, presence of bulky and electron donating group the presence of bulky and electron team group at carbon carbon increases the catalyst activity so uh, uh, this uh, 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 was a very nice demonstration of the modulation of sterics and electronics in enhancing uh, uh, the uh, the activity a of the uh, metathesis catalyst. Now, in this uh, context, uh, it is important to mention a beautiful work done by uh, Harman in which he had uh, indeed shown superior activity of the, uh, the uh, uh, second generation catalyst uh, over the first generation uh, catalyst. Herman's uh, work uh, demonstration uh, uh, that the second generation of catalyst is better uh, than the first generation and this has uh, beautiful work is refer, uh, published in Angiochem Thirty-seven two four nine zero. Now, uh, 
what uh, Harman did, uh, Harman actually compared the activity of Grubbs uh, first generation, second generation catalyst in ring opening uh, polymerization of cyclooctane. compared activity of grubs first and second generation catalyst in ring opening metathesis polymerization of cyclooctane. This is best uh, illustrated by the equation And uh, this was carried out at 25 degree centigrade in cyclooctane to catalyst. ratio of 250 is to 1. And uh, uh, the startling result of superior activity uh, of the second generation catalyst uh, could be uh, seen uh, very prominently in Harman's experiment and which uh, sort of once for all uh, uh, established the superiority of uh, the second generation catalyst over the first generation ones. So, what Herman observed is the superiority of the second generation over the first and when he a, and he observed that by plotting yield or with time that uh, of the, uh, the uh, conversion uh, and for the catalyst uh, which is a first generation uh, he, uh, uh, for the catalyst shown over here. Grubbs first generation. He, he, he observed sort of a steady growth in the product. Whereas, when he took the second generation catalyst, which was in isopropyl he 
he observed a drastic increase in the reaction yield and then uh, plotting. So, uh, this is uh, generation 2. So, uh, 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 the result uh, distinctly showed that the second generation catalyst uh, is uh, better uh, than the uh, first generation uh, catalyst. Now, these uh, uh, led uh, to uh, the development of uh, the, uh, gen uh, the Grubbs uh, second generation catalyst in much more uh, uh, detail. And uh, then uh, the next uh, ongoing uh, thing over here was in development of chiral uh, catalyst. And in this regard, uh, uh, significant development in chiral metathesis reaction was also observed uh, with uh, the following complexes, uh, metathesis a catalyst being synthesized. of molybdenum CH2 SI MAT, this is the answer bridge kind of complex. Another is the derivative of similar type. with T B butyl, T B butyl. The third one is another type with the dichloro Imido binol kind of set up and the last but not the least is a carbene in a two cyclic carbene with one side isopropyl group
So, uh, uh, this uh, uh, shows uh, uh, this sort of uh, uh, shows that the extent of creativity in terms of uh, people uh, uh, coming up with uh, so many different uh, modifications of chiral metathesis catalyst that uh, not only were uh, uh, synthesized, but also their uh, uh, applicability in the asymmetric metathesis uh, reaction performed. And uh, some of uh, uh, representative examples of such uh, range of complexes are also shown uh, over here. So, with and these uh, uh, the, the molybdenum ones are imido carbene complexes. So, there is a uh, metal ligand multiple bonding two types one is metal carbene and metal nitrogen. These are all imido uh, carbene complexes and the last uh, fourth one is a ruthenium complex where it is bound to NHCs as well as uh, cyclohexyl phosphine. So, with these uh, I come to conclusion to today of today's lecture where we have looked into the catalyst development aspect particularly from the use of sterics and electronics in uh, uh, facilitating the uh, uh, binding of uh, olefin and subsequently favoring the metathesis reaction. And we have also in that process uh, looked into uh, Harman's experiment which sort of distinguished uh, the Grubbs generation to catalyst from generation 1 uh, 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 and uh, successfully showed that uh, uh, these the second uh, uh, complex is better uh, than the first uh, one. So, with that uh, we come to an end of today's uh, lecture and we are going to be talking about this catalyst development uh, particularly from the application point of view uh, uh, in more details when we meet next uh, 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 in this uh, course uh, series of uh, course lectures. So, with that uh, once again I would like to thank you for being with me and I look forward to being with you in your next lecture where we take up this topic in more details. Thank you. Thank you.